Is that a word? Okay, let me start over. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to edit audio files in Audacity. It's really easy to do, it's a free software, and I've been working professionally for several years and I still haven't grown out of it. So let's jump right into it. So I'll just record something really fast and then I'll kind of show you all of the settings that I have and we'll just do it that way. And I'm going to read a poem by Shel Silverstein. He's one of my favorite poets from when I was a kid and I loved his books and was obsessed with them, so we're gonna do one of those. If we had hinges on our head, there, wait, was it? If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin. Cause we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in. Okay, so I always leave a five second pause at the end of my files. That gives you the room noise. Right now I have my door a little bit open, especially because the majority of my audio is coming from my phone. So it's not gonna be, you know, I'm not trying to impress anyone with this right now, but I leave the five second pause at the end. So let's go ahead and go through my process. So I normalize to minus three decibels. That is standard. Then I compress and you can look and see what settings I have. I have my noise floor at negative 40 decibels, my threshold at negative 12, ratio of two to one. And what the compressor does is it kind of helps, you know, if there's bigger peaks in certain words that I said and smaller peaks and other ones, it kind of helps balance that out a little bit. So you have less variation in uh, the volume. So if I raised my voice at one point in the recording just a little bit, then I can kind of balance that out. If you're yelling into the microphone, you're going to want to mess with your gain and you're going to want to make different files and all of that stuff. But we're just doing a very simple editing process here for very simple recordings. So I hit compress. You check compress based on peaks, makeup gain for zero decibels after compressing. So now when you go back and look at the file itself, it's not gonna go above zero decibels. Once it does, you're gonna be kind of blowing out whatever speakers they're on or whoever's listening to it. So you don't ever wanna compress to where it's getting into actual decibels. We're working in the negative decibels here. And I'm not a sound engineer, so if I'm using the wrong words, just do what I say or do what I do. Yes, just do what I do. Okay. So I messed up the front part of the poem, so I'll just highlight it and click the scissors, and that means cut. And now let's listen to it. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin, because we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in. So up here in the top left corner, you can see what uh, decibels it's playing at. So if I was going to try and record something softer and edit it in, I'll show you how that comes in handy. If we had hinges on our head, we couldn't do no sin. So obviously I kind of whispered that into the microphone to show you how the software is going to compress it and normalize it differently. I go through my process and yeah, this looks a lot louder. So what I would probably do is just bring it back down to three and see how that fits in. And right now we're just looking to see like if it sounds about the same volume wise. We don't want it to be jarring. Obviously, you know, one had way more energy and that's gonna be jarring on its own, but let's look at that again and pay attention to the decibels. If we had hinges on our head, we couldn't do no sin. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin. Okay, so the decibels peaked. It's about a two to three decibel difference between those two. So I would probably go in and just slowly eke it upwards. So let's try negative two. If we had hinges on our head, we couldn't do no sin. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be. Let's see if we can, maybe we'll take that up half decibel let's see okay if we had hinges on our head we couldn't do no sin if we had hinges on our head there couldn't be no sin so that matches much more closely it's a lot less jarring and that's how you do that okay moving on once to add a track you go up here to tracks add new and you're going to do a mono track if you do a stereo track um i don't even think it records when i try to do that let me see testing testing yeah so i have 
my recording up here setting set to mono. So if I throw in a stereo track, it's not going to record. So we're going to want to bring down that background noise. Like I said, I have my door open, so you kind of hear some crackly room noise in the back. So I hi that's where the last five seconds comes in. So I highlight those last five seconds, and I come over to noise reduction. Look at my settings down at that bottom. You're going to follow these levels. Noise reduction, 12 decibels. Sensitivity, 6. Frequency smoothing bands, 3. Noise, click reduce. So that means that it's going to reduce that type of background noise across the entire file so you don't have that crackling throughout the recording. Um, these levels are just the levels that I tinkered with when I first set up my studio, what works for my particular space. Um, you can kind of start with these levels and then adjust it however you need based off of how soundproof your area is. So you're going to do step one, get noise profile which is going to get the noise profile of the section that you've highlighted there at the end. Then you're going to highlight your entire track and either hit repeat noise reduction or hit noise reduction again and click OK at the bottom. Now let's listen and see how much residue you can hear in the back. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin because we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in, right? Nice and clean, perfect. Okay, another component of the total editing process is de-breathing. For audiobooks, you're probably not going to go through and de-breath, but for commercials and basically anything else that is under half an hour long or 20 minutes long or whatever it is, you're going to go in and delete the breaths that you make while you're doing the recording. I have one breath to get rid of right there at the beginning. So what I do is I highlight that breath I click on normalize and I de-breath down to negative 53 decibels. You don't want to completely silence it. This button that I'm hovering over right now, that means to silence audio section. And if it's too silent, it can be um, distracting as well. So I suggest just doing the normalization. It's not any more difficult or easy, so just do it that way. So as you can see, I normalized and let's see how it sounds. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin. Perfect. Because we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in. There you go. Okay. And finally, oh, I guess we'll do a bonus. Yes, a bonus. All right, I'm going to show you how to balance music with your voiceover, which is another very common thing that will be requested of you by your clients, whether you're adding it to video, whether it's going to be a, you know, a phone message recording, whatever it is, even for some commercial stuff, they want you to find the track for them, depending on the size of the client. So I will show you how to do that. You go to File, Import, Audio. I have an entire music folder of uh, music that I have the licenses to through my subscription softwares. So I'm going to browse through some of these and pick one. It will show up as a stereo file, as most music files will show up as. You can leave it as a stereo file. There's nothing wrong with that. This version of Audacity, either I need to update it or it got a small glitch in it when I updated it. Like I said, this is free software, so I'm not going to be super picky, but um, I do some workarounds on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately normalize the music file to negative 13 decibels. That's a very good kind of um, average decibel level that I would do for most tracks and see how that sounds. Sometimes if you're putting like a rock track behind there, you're going to need to make it even quieter because that's going to be a lot of like a lot of noise in their ears. And you want them to pay attention to the message that of what you're saying more than just the music. OK, so here we go. Normalize peak amplitude to negative 13 decibels. Click OK. This is a little glitch that I'm talking about with Audacity. Whenever, for some reason, whenever I'm normalizing some stereo files, it'll completely silence the uh, whichever alternate stereo it would be playing to. So you can click up here on the name of the 
music track and go down to split stereo track. Boom, it's split. Now it's in two different files and I delete the one that's been silenced. Pay attention because now it's going to only have the music playing through one speaker. You probably can't tell, but I can hear it. Okay. So you're going to bring this over here, center it. Boom. Now it's no different than when it was a stereo file. Let's see how the music balances with the voiceover. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin. Because we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in. Yeah, I think that sounds just fine. Delete the excess at the end. If you want to tailor it, obviously, to your clients, which is kind of what I'm teaching you to do, um, you can highlight the last bit wherever you want it to trail off. So if I wanted to have an entire five second fade out on this music, you know, you'll do this more for phone messages and commercials as well. You know, especially if it's a com like a radio commercial, you might have like a one second fade out, whatever it is. In any case, you're going to highlight the section that you want to fade out, go up to effect and click fade out. Boom. Let's listen and leave the good stuff in. Well, that is it. And now I'll show you how to save a file, which obviously you're going to know. But this is going to save. Um, I save everything as a WAV file. This will save it as a WAV file. It won't save the project. So for example, so let me show you that first. Okay, you're going to file, export, WAV. And let's just say I'm going to save it to my desktop. As example, right? Oopsies. And then you click, click save. Okay, so if you are working on a project where you're layering a lot of audio files, I don't know, let's say for example that you're gonna do multiple character voices for someone's passion project and you're going to have you know, another track, kind of like I have this music track here, and you want to be able to keep these separately because you maybe want to come back and have the opportunity to edit just small portions. Okay, does that make any sense? Let me give you an example. So if the client really loved the read that I did for this small portion, and they wanted me to add words in the middle. So I'll do that now. Here I am adding words in the middle. There we go, that should be just fine. So I'm going to control copy that section, control V, paste it into my file. And hear how that sounds. If we had hinges on our head, there couldn't be no sin. Here I am adding words in the middle. Cause we take all the bad stuff out and leave the good stuff in. Okay, how simple is that? The client asked for it and boom, you have it just like that, perfect. Now, if you had only saved this file as a WAV file or an MP3 file, you could no longer be able to separate the voiceover track from your music track. So imagine having this section that you want to insert, but now you're going to have a big blank space of nothing and you're not gonna be able to patch that blank part of music unless you want to start Frankensteining your entire audio track, which is something I re regrettably have done before. Give my creation so don't forget this. So if you want to save it as a project and save your track separately, you're going to have to save as a project. And that's basically what I was trying to say from the very beginning. Okay, well, I clearly have nothing else to teach you on this topic. So I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Bye. Uh -huh.